This is the guitar lesson for Simon and Garfunkel's America, the easy way and the correct way. Alright, your guitar should be in standard E tuning. And we want to put our capo on the second fret like so. Okay, I've seen a lot of lessons out there that have wrong placement of the capo, the chords are off, um, but this one is going to be the closest one you'll find, alright, to the original recording. So, the chord progression is very long and drawn out. I'm going to go through each line of the song with you. But one thing you got to remember, the easiest part is the strumming pattern stays the same. Okay? So, the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Watch very closely. Little fill. Okay, that's the intro right there. So let's start it off. So the song starts off where they're basically saying, ooh, 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 you know, as it comes into the song. And that is our home chord progression, which is C. All right, the next chord is kind of like a C. Take all your fingers off except for your pointer finger. Put your middle finger on the second fret A string. All right, the next chord is A minor. The next chord, I'm going to take my ring finger and put it on the 3rd fret E string and keep everything else the same. And then it's an F bar chord. And we got that little fill at the end. So it's... It's basically down strum. And on that down strum, I'm hammering on my pinky on the 3rd fret G string, okay? so. Sounds like... Alright, not bad. So that's our home chord progression. You'll hear that a couple times in the song, okay? Let's go through the song. So we got uh, the intro and then we have... Uh, let's see here... So I'll just play through it. That'll be easier. That second line right there, I did the same thing. I went from C to this next chord, which I'm just taking all my fingers off and putting my middle finger on the second fret A string. Then A minor, I hold, and that's where the chord progression for that line stops. Play it four times. Then it goes, so we bought a, uh, so we bought a pack of cigarettes, so it goes E minor, A7, E minor, A7. This next part, it changes up a little bit. This is the part, and we walked off to look for America. So, and we walked off to look for America. So it's. All right, that last part looked familiar, okay? So it's basically... D and C, then... All right, third fret, E string, I pluck once. Open fret uh, on the A string, I pluck once. And then I pluck the second fret, uh, A string, and then I go back into my home chord progression. Not bad. Um, then after that part, we have uh, the same home chord progression again. Then I think it's Michigan seems like a dream to me now. So C, the next chord. Then A minor, we hold on A minor. And now we play a G, and this is where he says, It took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw. All right, so. All right. 
and that's when the song he plays a little bit harder a little bit louder um, on that G okay and then it goes into the chorus of the song which is I've gone to look for America which is all right and that's D G D then it's C major 7 which is a C without your pointer finger on the first fret and you make a C at the very end. Very slow. D, G, D, C major seven. Put your pointer finger and make a full C. Now this is where the song switches up a little bit. It's kind of uh, different. This is almost like a bridge of the song. All right, so this is a B major seven. Okay, and this is the part where uh, they say laughing on the bus, laughing on the bus. So, play that four times. All right, and what that is, is your first finger, your pointer fingers on the first fret A string, your ring fingers on the third fret D string, your middle fingers on the second fret G string, and your pinky is on the third fret B string. Everything else is played open. You're not playing this B string, or I'm sorry, you're not playing this E string right here. Okay, so four times. Two, three, four. Then C. One, two, three, four. Back to that same chord. One, two, three, four. Back to C. One, two, three, four. Then we go to F. Then we go into our home chord progression. And then, after that home chord progression, this is where it gets a little bit weird. Okay, we play a D9 and an F major 7, okay? So the D9, it looks a little bit weird and it takes a second to get used to. Basically, it's this chord right here, okay? So it goes. So it's almost like a D, but you take your you take your middle finger off that top E string, okay? And you're going to play that open, all right? Then you take your thumb and you put it on the second fret E string, and you're playing all the strings except for this A string. You kind of want to mute that with your thumb, okay? So, all right? And then the next chord finishing up is the F major seven. And how that's played is like, so, I'll explain this one to you too. It's all right, and that's your pointer finger on the first fret E string. You're not playing this A string, okay? Then you have your ring finger on the third fret D string. Your middle finger is on the second fret G string, and then everything else is rings open, okay? So, and that's where that home chord progression ends. This is the only time in the song when it's like that, okay? Uh, it only gets easier from here on out. So next we have uh, Toss me a cigarette uh, I think there's one in my raincoat, I believe he says. So we got... Then we have the E minor and A7 switch up again. The A7, E minor, A7. And then we have the chorus of the song. So that's basically it. It goes back into the chorus, and then you, uh, with all those parts I've shown you, uh, you can basically figure out where each of them go, okay? Uh, play along with the song and you'll totally get down where all the chords go. One more part I want to show you is at the very end the chorus plays over and over, and over again, uh, All Gone to Look for America, okay? So that's basically D, G, D, C major 7. Remember, it's the C without our pointer finger on that first fret B string. Then we put our pointer finger on and make that C. Oh, one more.
more thing I want to show you, the outro of the song, okay? The outro of the song is very similar to our home chord progression. Okay, remember the... That's actually part of it right there, okay? So it's C, the next, the next chord which I showed you, the middle finger on the second fret, A string, then A minor, and that's C slash G. Then we go to F. All right, so on the F we go F, F, then we move our middle finger down to the second fret on the D string, okay? And I'm basically playing, I'm basically playing these two strings, the B and the E, I'm kind of muting the, uh... Actually, let's do this. You know what? For the, so you play the F, then we move our ring finger down to the second fret on the D string. So it's... All right, then I open it up. I take my ring finger off those strings. And then I do this. And go back to C, so... A minor, C slash G. So you just play that over and over and over, and that's the outro of the song. Sorry this lesson took a while to teach you, but it's actually a very drawn-out song, and that chord progression can get kind of weird with a bunch of changes, and um, it's, it's kind of a, it's an easy song to play, but it's just hard to figure out where all the chords go. Okay, so listen along with the recording, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Send me, send me a uh, message on my YouTube account. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my website. If you want me to be your guitar teacher, please go to teachmeguitar.guitarmateys.com and I'll share with you everything I know about guitar. All right, I will see you in the next lesson. Thanks.